Yes, yes, people, you are listening to the Energy Podcast. I am your host here today, Troy, T R O Y B A N X Z. We also got shout out to ZBA. He's not here at the moment, but we have two special guests to keep you company today. Yeah. Introduce yourselves. What's going on? It's your boy Shay7. What's going on, people? Yeah. It's Chose, C H O Z E. What's going on? Yeah. Live, live, live. Thanks so for having got... us, man. No, yeah. Thank you for coming on. We have some amazing, talented artists and people. Thank likewise, you. man. Likewise. Nah, I appreciate it. Check, check some of your stuff out as well, man. Nah, very I'm impressed. Sure. Very, thank very you, impressed. Man. Thank you, man. Very impressed. So, the, for the people that don't know, basic introduction. Tell me about yourselves. Tell the people about yourselves. Do you want to do NK first oh, or should I do yeah, NK? No, do. Um, um, I'm an alternative rapper called Cho C-H-O-Z-E. I've been on the a circuit for about more than eight years. And I've just released my f- debut album, which is called DIY, which is out now on all streaming platforms. Um, I performed on the circuit for about four or five years, where it could be rock bands to orchestras, and yes, I've been um, supported by a, a very good cult following, which I want a big shout out to every single person that supported me from day one. And yes, just hopefully continue the legacy of independence as well as collaboration and um, believing in alternative sounds. Mm. So I yeah, hear that. right? Is it me now? Yeah, yeah. How you doing, people? I'm Shay Seven, I'm artist producer. Um, I've been doing this for what nearly two, 20 years. 20 years in the game Jeez. um yeah uh yeah and um I, I i i've been developing a lot of artists that are out there now um yeah yeah i've just basically been working a lot with Cho's. yeah i've known him for like what 15 15, yeah, 15, yeah, 15 how, did years. You, how did you guys first link up right you want to go for this bro yeah. let me let me finish the introduction oh no no sorry it's all <laughs> good we, we go in man it's fun yeah. um yeah and i just like developing artists working with Cho's, obviously like he's my brother um and just work with him closely and just making sure that we build the foundation, uh, which is chose official. Do you know what I mean? And we all work together and I'm, I'm enjoying myself so far. Do you know what I mean? And that there's many man. more things to come. My, my EP is coming out next week, actually, on the 5th of November. It's going to give you five love, minutes. Love. And Chose is on yeah. the album too. Love, hey, love, come, love, come on, love, come love, on, love, come love. on. We love to hear it. We love to hear it. So when you guys first met 15 yes. years ago? Yes. I think it was, was probably it? more dub vendor. That yeah. we were fully connected. We saw each other through circuits. Well, I actually tell you like, yeah. I knew of Shay because Shay was in the Power video, Lethal B video, that wow. went massive wow. and viral. Wow. Shay was okay. in the video. I knew of Shay about 2004, literally then. Oh, wow. But I think it was 2005. Yeah. yeah. That's when we really connected, and 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 went from there really and truly. And then it just okay. gradually grew from there. When CDs was out. Yeah, when CDs was out at the time. <laughs> when it was only CDs. Wow. You know, and Napstar was on its way out. It was there. It was there, it was it was there but it was... It was out. It was out. It was out, but yeah. So you guys must know, I guess that kind of links in with the title of your album. Like yeah. You guys must know the groundwork that must have come with um, doing it yourself in the modern yeah. day industry, how Much the industry's awesome. going with the streaming platforms, merchandising, promoting yourself. Mm-hmm. So delve into more... How it's been in both the commercial aspects and how it's been in like yeah both doing everything yourself as an independent artist and um well, building your own passion to legacies for me it was more like uh, i felt like you had to be a student in the game before mm. you become the artist first okay. because i felt like as the years were going on it was becoming more it was becoming more blatant that this is a business rather than just the art form and you know when i first ever was fully fully enjoying music yeah i just loved the art form more than anything i loved it way more than just um you know money or being famous yeah i just felt like that that's what it's all about but obviously if you're working with record labels you know and you record labels have got an accountant and a tax man <laughs> you know they need to know are we selling yeah. because you know without it has to be a business or else what's the point of being in it so i just felt like um, over the years, it was becoming more business, and but I felt like a lot of people were doing it for the wrong reasons. Yeah. I feel it wasn't more about the the art; it was more about the lifestyle and what it can do for me, rather than what it can do for a generation or a scene. Mm-hmm. So that that's thing. why one of the things I named the album DIY was because it was about believing yourself more than doing it yourself, and believing that. Um, if you choose a team around you, 
that can understand the journey that where you can go to, you know, you're not going to get exploited, you're not going to get shocked because you exactly know where you're heading at. And I just feel like this album definitely tries to tell people that as much as possible. I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. And why after many years in the game, why dropping the album now? I think it was more in a sense I was trying to find my sound. Um, I was I was going <coughs> through the experimental alternative sounds and something wasn't I just felt like when I was officially doing it I felt like I was too influenced by people that were influenced by record labels so mm. it was always a thing of you need to get a, a girl to sing on a hook or a guy to <laughs> sing on a hook yeah. you need to you know we need to get this signed rather than let's put it out and get to the DJs and build the momentum up and hit the core fans and go to the regional stations and get the cult organic following. It was more like, let's get this video on straight on MTV. But yeah. you don't even realise you're actually shooting yourself in the foot because you're only going to be there for five minutes unless you've got a massive following that's going to push you. And I didn't have a massive following at the time, but I had a lot of publications and articles, I mean, publications, magazines, so for really supporting what I was doing, but I didn't feel I had my the proper sound until about 18, around 17, 18 at the time. So it was just one of them things where I didn't feel that I had the sound. So when I met up with Skulls, yeah, yeah, yeah. come on, and then Shay, yeah, that's when it all started coming together. And then I think what was the first song? Yeah, I think the first song that we did was DIY. Imagine, imagine that. Yeah, title track, yeah. Title track was the first That's song, right. isn't it? The it's first song we did was DIY. Lorenzo, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. To, no, actually, the first song we did was Name and Face, but yeah. this was promo songs because we wanted to see uh, how yeah. we can connect. And then for the album, when yeah. I did DIY, that's when I said, no, I want to do an album. <laughs> and then to a lot yeah. of people, that would have been a bit like, why? Because you haven't had, a, like, you've had a few EPs out, but you're not established yet to have an album. But I just felt like we're losing the momentum of creating albums in this Definitely day and age. Because bodies of work. Bodies of work because yeah, now you just go through on your iTunes or your Spotify, which sounds trigger you. And then you're just like, I'll download that and I'll download that and I'll download that. And then that's it. Rather than taking in the body of work to really understand why I did, why was this track number three? And why was this track number five? And why was this track exactly. number nine? Do you know what I mean? So. I think I'll, that's the beauty of why we connected when you told yeah. me about it being a concept album and yeah. being like alternative yeah. rapper. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's that how connected and all that, yeah. you know. And I, I felt the vibe that I got from you as well that you were on the same pathway mm -hmm. as well of creating bodies of work where it means something rather than it's just about look at me. One hundred percent. Yeah. What about yourself in your journey? On my your journey, journey dropping the album on the th why now? <laughs> What, well, uh, well, it's an EP. Yeah, the album's coming later on in life. Yeah. Um, basically, with as Chos knows as well, um, I've always been the guy behind the scenes. Yeah, um, you know, giving people sounds like, mm. and oh, you, you know, got some help. big name artists as well. Well, hey, you've been you know, working with you, humble. Listen, humility is real, man. But um, real off the highlight, real. So real like, off the highlight. Where I developed um, Jesse J yeah. in the early stages. Um, uh, Style OG, I produced a record called My You. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's 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 other artists, but those those are the main ones that people would understand and kind of recognize. It worked with Ed Sheeran as well, don't okay, it? Okay, Ed Sheeran, yeah, I forgot yeah, about that one. Right. Yeah. 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 It, it, it worked with um, Rich 32, That's Swiss. Is, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> it worked with artists called. You see, this is a good thing about having good friends because they'll pick you up when you got a bit of good time. I give them the flowers. Do you know what the thing is? I literally forgot. I'm not even going to gas the set. But yeah, numerous artists, big and small, of course. Mm. Um, with, <laughs> with, you know, but like I said, yeah. always been in the background, um, mm. you know, with the, the songwriting, the, the, the development of artists, yeah. um, like even songwriting, I worked with songwriters, um, in the past, like Jack Knight, who done P Diddy's camp. So he's written yes. for Biggie, Mary J. In fact, he contacted me last night, actually. So yeah. these are the people I'm working with, but no one, no pun. No face, yeah. there was just a name. That's mad. <laughs> so it was it, literally, so now 
um, you know, going through what I was going through and, you know, working alongside shows, you know, I was kind of like in, in, inspired to be like, bro, do you know what? How about I do a body of work on my own? That's definitely like, because I'm, That's it. Uh, again, I have to start from ground zero because yeah. for the industry, I might be known in the background. Yeah. But in the forefront, I'm a new artist. I'm starting from ground zero. So yeah. even, you, you know. It's easier to do it that way. To yeah. be fair, I'm enjoying it more so. I love to collaborate, obviously, you know, with Chose because it's easier. We've got the chemistry. Yeah. Um, it's, it's nice. It's, it's a very good process for me to actually help find myself. Because again, I was not, yeah, um, I was spreading myself in um, yeah. for everyone. And now it's just, you know, I have ownership on my own records. I'm able to correct myself or, you know, be able to have a good team around me yeah. um, who would like help build my career. Yeah. It's not just a one way street, you know what I mean? So within doing that, I enjoyed the process. And I mean, there's many more to come, you know what I mean? So I just working, just working on. Um, yeah, just working on projects, but, but you know, going to be putting out singles and stuff like that also. Uh, yeah, man. That. And how would you describe the song? It's mad. Do you know what? He's the best person to... Nah, I'm joking. Mm. Um, to, me, to me, personally, uh, on a production level, yeah. I'm very inspired and influenced by um, the, the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s rap music mm. and R&B. So hip-hop and R&B. Yeah. Like, hip-hop's always been a part of my life. As well as like pop music from when I was younger, yeah. So mm. um, it's it's different people that like pop records. N Sync. I wanted to be in a boy band in school. How about that? Mm. You know, and I wanted exactly. to sing. And so with that, like everything influences me. Like I, you know, my parents they're Asian, and we we used to listen. Well, uh, subconsciously, for me anyway, the, mm. in the kitchen there'll be Sunrise Radio, which is quite a famous you know Bollywood station that plays a lot of Indian music. So that that was that was a lot of influence in me. Yeah. And and it, it it's it's a bit of a mix and match, but I think more so with it, it's it's more um, rap oriented. So yeah, um, I hear that, but that's the the beauty of like all your experiences culminating through yeah. into like your final projects. It's like um, Tuffy Jay Z says about his first album, like it says that it's one of his favorite albums mm. because yeah. it's the one that took his whole life to make. Yeah, 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 yeah I yeah, mean yeah. that's the beauty of it, especially when you guys like mm. tell your stories. Like you told me about your upbringing, like growing up, mm. being scouted for football, mm. getting injured, and mm. then like discovering music and having mm. that as an outlet. And yeah. it's kind of the same story with me, like the catharsis, the um, mm. art therapy element, yeah. and the yeah. beauty of like discovering and being able to tell your story yeah. in other ways and. Um, Outside of just the physical and even the legacy, I think that's the, mm. the beauty of it. And that's it, like seeing how all your experiences or all, even like heritage and upbringing has mm. like defined your music, like even down to like the boy bands and yeah. the hip hop mm. and like growing and evolving. I guess that's all manifested onto the album. Yeah, mm. naturally, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely for sure. And yeah. especially, yeah, like you said, growing yeah. up in the communities that we come from, you know, it's very difficult to, ex um, to find ways of not, being pulled into a circle that depresses you and stuff. So when you find an avenue where, you know, you can show your inner inner truth, yeah. that's where you blossom and then that's where you take it on to the next levels. Yeah, I loved football more than anything. Yeah. But, you know, when I got that injury and when pro clubs weren't signing me, I got disheartened and I just felt, but I always knew I was on this earth to do something weird or unique one of the two yeah, so right, it was yeah. one of them things where music just gradually just really i always loved music but as a profession it gradually started becoming real to me when i saw soul solid doing it and then that's when i thought okay you can that's actually so do, do you know what do you know what's amazing to me yeah. because the people that i idolize you guys probably like were there at the time um, yeah and yeah. like you grow like the fact that you yeah. say that you're on the set of power like yeah, that's just the yeah, insane yeah. to me you know i'm gonna go back and look at the yeah. video <laughs> <laughs> you know, every single minute and second yeah, so but, you said soul solid and yeah so they, they, things yeah they, they were being they were still still out, yeah. Solid were, like yeah. the p diddies and two packs of our generation at the Fact. time because there was no youtube there was no channel U, no channel aka yeah there was literally boy bands and girl bands yeah and everyone looking fly on tv and it was the thing of you didn't have the cutting <laughs> edge you did but it would be more from a different scene like the prodigies or you know the massive attacks or like mm. different cult 
sounds, but you never had one from an urban background. So when Soul Solid came through, yeah, it just felt like superstar. They were superheroes to us, like literally. Yeah. W- w- that's the only way I could describe it because it was the first. <laughs> Yeah. First of everything, mm. like they were the first. No one can ever deny that. That Facts. they they were the first yeah. to go through the door and open the door for us to sh- to show that if you believe in your dreams, anything is possible. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And unfortunately, due to events of what happens is you know they showed other elements of what fame brings. You know the jealousy, the hate. Yeah. You know the shootings. You know the media propaganda. All of these factors suppressed their movement but it just it was like they were the gift and the curse so in the gift that they opened the door and showed us the blueprint but the curse was this is the blowback that was put upon them so it was a kind of a lesson to all of us coming through to say listen don't do the same mistakes that we did you know Mm -hmm. learn from our mistakes to move forward you know and i'm sure that a lot of them are okay at the moment and whatever, but you know they've got to be proud of what they've done because if it wasn't for them, like hand yeah, on heart, very it, true. It, it, there won't be no pal, there won't be yeah. no um, diggity, there won't be no. There won't be none of us now, bro. Yeah. Even even yeah. with my tracks, the reason why it's so significant, one of my biggest tracks has um, a nod to the pal track. Okay. Too so solid, creep. yeah, and that's the thing that's bad. Like, even um, some of the flows, some of the yeah. cadences, yeah, even too. um, the UK garage band, yeah. So, yeah. when you're saying this, that's what yeah. I'm saying, yeah. it's like yeah. a master class yeah. to me to no, like, yeah. hearing this, no, definitely for sure. And I yeah. think it's a great thing that you did that because it just shows mm. where you're coming from, oh, right and, yeah. and no, yeah, no, right for that no, as well. And that's another reason why yeah. I did DIY because I felt like yeah. I wanted people to remember what created us as a scene yeah you know i felt like now because of the internet people feel like with all due respect i'm not trying to um brush um drill or trap or anything like that because i think it's a very unique sound for Mm. a certain following but for me it's not the sound that i grew up with or influenced me because i wasn't listening to drill at that time and on top of that i felt like drill and trap is an american sound and i don't want to differentiate and start breaking down factors about this and all that but i just felt at a point Mm. we were losing uk identity we were like losing what makes us like who if we were to go to america why should we support you yeah do you know what i mean because when i went to new york <coughs> the thing that they loved about me was like the fact that i was coming with my sounds rather than coming with a sound that they already can get from around the way mm. you know expand upon that like the, the sense of authentic self but also like yeah how did you make yourself original like you said especially we're touring def- and going to New York, going to different countries. countries. Like, well, definitely, i just always been a student of the game. I always yeah. was buying CDs, still albums, and yeah, yeah, still buying yeah, yeah, albums. Yeah. And I wish I could be a collector of vinyl, but I didn't have a vinyl disc at the time, you know, the vinyl um, the turntable, t- the turntables turn at the right, time. Yeah. But I always wanted to be a, a, a student because I said to myself, if I ever come out into this industry, I need to have my own stamp. Yeah. So how do I differentiate, like, how do I be different from somebody else completely to say that this is me? And then that's why I made DIY. <coughs> so, um, and that's why I got the feedback that I got, I think, because it was something for the listeners. The feedback was, it was something fresh, new. And that's kind of how I felt the feedback I got from you, like, you know, yeah. it was, and so forth. And I knew you was a music man, because the first question Definitely. you asked me was like, who mixed this? Yeah, man. Hey. Always yeah. the first, because it it's such a saturated mark. The first thing I listened to, yeah. like, even sonically, yeah. and flow was just... And then like, you were looking at the man who mixed it. Do you oh, know what I mean? my, yeah. 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 So, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. So the when first, you yeah, said yeah, that, yeah, that's when you know. That's what I said, okay. I never heard anyone do that. So when you said that to me, I said, all right, this is a music man, I'm talking to that, because that was the first thing he said. He said, Who mixed it? Wow. Yeah. And he said that, Raw, who did the master? And well, he's like, Yeah, no, I can no, hear the no mixer master in this yeah. and everything like that. You know, yeah, big that. shout out to Pete, man. Big shout out to Shay. Big shout out to Skulls. Skulls. Mm. And big shout out to everyone collaborating on the albums and um, Corpse. Skibbity, um, um, Lionheart, yeah. yeah, man. And even my mum. Big shout out to my mum. But that yeah, was it was just one of them things where I just felt like I don't want us to lose our identity, man, because I just feel it's getting there, man. Like, peer pressure is real especially in this industry and i feel like i don't i don't see the originality that i saw 20 years ago man i just feel like you turn on the radio now it's 
back to back of a similar sound. Do you know? And what is I mean? that in terms of flow? And that is that in terms of the genres, like you said, the drill and the trap, or is yeah, because of... like drill, with all yeah. due respect, you might get one or two that you recognize in the rave that you go back, 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 back. But I guarantee you, if you did a whole two hour set of drill, yeah. It's back to back sound same. It sounds yeah. exactly the same way as grime mm. garage. We all had different tracks of grime and garage. Like right. you put pow, you put oi, you put Eskimo, you put P's and Q's, you put I love you. They're all different sound. You put yeah. um, that's not me. All different sound, but it's the same genre. Same yeah. thing with garage. Yeah. You put twenty one seconds. You put um, heartless beam. You know. You put um, you know Wookie. Yeah. All it's from the same drop, but it's all <clears throat> different sounds. It's ID, like, it? like it's an ID. It's an ID. Like if you heard a Wookie, you know straight away that's a so solid track. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, when you hear a drill track today, I don't know who it is. Do you know what the funny okay. thing is? I really don't. So can I just yeah. add? Yeah. I've actually got a, a project like with singles. It's actually called Never Did Drill. Okay. But it's it's a you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's just no, 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 I'm no, but I'm it's just it's one of the like, things where he's going on drill. I'm basically. going on drill just to show people like. Yeah. like I've got respect for you, Lux Tin, but then yeah. I want to be a guest. Yeah. Right, okay. But yeah. I feel like when you're flowing on it, it's you're different. doing your flow. You're not doing the typical flow that anyone else does. It's like, for example, I rate Unknown T because I feel he's I was going to go see him on Saturday. So crazy, one of the people I collaborate with a lot on uh, my tracks is actually opening for him. That's, That's crazy. Him. Big yeah, shout out to him, man. I hope he shuts it down, man, and does his thing. What's his name? That's exactly, uh, what, Unknown T? No, you're, you're uh, so uh, WI7S. He's on a uh, lot of big shout to big out. the tracks and um, SQ and all the guys there. Oh, yeah. Hosting an event and yeah. Unknown T is coming down. Okay, then. And um, that was always my thing. So when I was looking at like our generation or the younger generation, yeah. when he said he was the best of his age, no boasting, I was always like looking. Yeah. That, that's it. When I'm stepping in the studio, I'm looking to compete. Yeah. Like whether it's with the big yeah, names, yeah. Like, the greats, I call it arrogance, yeah. call it um, confidence. Yeah, yeah like, confidence. Because when you're leaving your mouth, someone said to me, uh, every time you step into the studio, especially the studio, you're leaving your mark upon the world. Like yeah. when you press record, yeah. like, if I pass away tomorrow, yeah. touch wood, touch, touch wood, man. Then that's gonna be whatever take I've done in that studio. Especially I get very obsessive. Whatever take I've done in that studio, <laughs> whatever, whatever I've done, that's that's yeah. how people are gonna remember yeah, me, yeah, bro. That's, I mean. that's how people. Oh, you're the yeah, same. Yeah, I'm the same. Bro. That's how people are gonna yeah. remember. Yeah. Same. So explain why you like. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you I like unknown T. Yeah. Um, he's original. Like yeah. you're not gonna hear no. You, like, tell me who sounds like Unknown T. Yeah. Apart from Unknown T. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's for me. He's just original. It's like somebody like if I turned on, I would just know straight away that's Unknown T. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas with other people, and this is the another thing why I I'm, I'm slightly feel not right, but slightly feel that people will get my point to a certain degree because yeah. I don't feel in today's like society of like drill that you lot have a, a bible album oh right do you Ooh. think it's because it's a newer genre i know because i i think that everything sounding the same because when well, we're grime cool. grime yeah was boy in the corner right okay. everyone goes back to boy Easy. in the corner yeah. when it's like hip-hop you're going either illmatic yeah. or reasonable doubt do you know what i mean like out or Mar Marshall Matters LP, you're going to iconic albums. That's this guy. I don't feel <laughs> like I because yeah. I asked I've asked at least three people and they've like you know what you might be onto something because they're like I'll oh, try this or try that but I'm like is it an album no it's like, that it's you a think it's like a definitive representation yeah right? like it's right. the okay. one like it's the like for example look at Skeptus it's Skeptus Kanichi one yeah because Graham came back. At the time he dropped it yeah. and i feel like he was at the forefront for graham at the time when he dropped that <clears throat> so that was a great representation to show graham again mm. like of albums i don't feel that first i could be wrong i could be that there could be kids today saying no you gotta listen to the digger d this and all I, that. I, I had some wrong. of my guys in the studio that's what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. but i don't feel i'm only going by sure, the publications no, i'm going by the publications and like because I, i'm not i don't know what the biggest platform for drill is I don't know if it's GRM Daily and all that because GRM Daily is literally Grime Daily. Yeah. It's but it got shortened to GRM Daily because they had to. They lost their. They rep. lost. They lost their rep, so they had to rebrand again, and it's GRM Daily. But GRM Daily, GRM stands for Grime. Yeah. It was called Grime Daily. Same thing with Link Up. Link Up went through through Grime. Yeah. So, 
but and UK rap, I would say. And same thing with Jiro and Daily Grind, but it was very influenced. But I just feel like when I go on these platforms, <laughs> like One Extra, BBC Red, Tap, Tap Red, 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 Red. Old BBC One Extra, you know, all these places, mm -hmm. I don't see any of them promoting the album. That do they do with that's because of the market, or do you think that's because of the market? Like, like I don't think. It, I don't it, think. I don't think. Song, yeah. I don't think anyone. See, do you think it's the quality of the albums, or do you think I need to listen? I, I want someone anymore. to give me an album. Yeah. To say okay, and I'll tell you why I know I'm right as well because for the, when did right when did drill blow? Tell me what year drill. UK drill. UK, UK drill. UK drill. Right, I'm gonna say as early as see. I'm gonna say as early as 016, that's when it started. 016. And then blowing. Last year. You think so? No, I'm what, just saying, I'm just like, that just being me. You mean, I mean, if it went mainstream, if no, you're no, talking just about like, worldwide, just like, like, it doesn't even that, need to be mainstream. Year. I reckon, uh, yeah, like 2018. 18. That's yeah. when it was starting going, all right, cool. So it's still a bit. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I, let's say 16, because yeah. it was new. Who was the four, who was the, who would you say right now is the godfather of drill? If I had my boy. Drill or road rap? Drill. No, because I for me, road rap, yeah. for me, it's gigs. Okay. I don't think anyone's bigger than gigs yeah. for road rap. Like yeah. UK rap. Yeah. Right? No one's like influence. Because yeah, that's rap. That's rap. Yeah, gigs. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if there's a difference to UK rap and no, road rap. I no, guess. It's the UK rap is road rap. Road rap, yeah. yeah. So it's it especially in this country. So yeah. it has to be gigs. I mean, yeah. I guess I'd be ignorant, but some of the names I would say. Uh, potentially in the early days, or in terms of just big names that are about now, yeah. you'd say probably like your LDs, or you'd say probably um, like your OFDs, like your Africa Dabras and stuff. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. Those yeah, are the yeah. big names. Nowadays, mainstream diggers yeah. is the biggest drill artist in the world. Um, so I guess there's people coming through, but in yeah. terms of what you're saying, Godfather, that'd be different. That's definitely one for the books for me. All right, do you know yeah. a platform called the Mercury Awards? Yeah. Right. Since 16, yeah. I have not seen one album, because Mercury is... Not saying it's the, like it's the it's like the guaranteed that whatever ten albums they pick throughout the year is those ten. But I feel drill is supposed to be a new sound, and what Mercury do is they pick the new innovative sounds that go through. And I don't think since it's come out yeah. that they picked one drill album to define. Do you think that's because of the market though? Because I've always had an issue with, I guess the same with breaking through. I'm being the devil's advocate. Yeah, no, no, breaking, go for it. We, breaking through with the other market. I'd love to have another artist here to. Yeah, yeah, yeah cause cause I, I wanna, because I want to know because the fact mm. of the matter is, I don't. Because it was, uh, I guess it's almost the same with like, even going back as far as the first hip hop Grammys or even breaking through with, I guess, Soul Solid, you know, yeah. got the recognition on a global scale yeah. or awards scale. Yeah. Um, when they came, but when Soul Solid came out with "They Don't Know," yeah, it was like the world it was like it was critically acclaimed. Like in a yeah. sense, everybody yeah, yeah. knew about it. Yeah. Everyone was like, "Here's the album. You got to listen to this album if you want to know about UK garage or rap at the time." Because Soul Solid were at the brink of starting to push grime, mm. so it was a thing of this is something new, fresh, and exciting. And I feel like. Drill's the same. It's something new, fresh, and exciting. Yeah. But I don't feel I I don't know an album that everyone's raving and ranting about. Have this is the albums? blueprints. They've got albums. There's bro. albums. There's like, albums. Those dropped last what year, like those. UK Drill, like the, yeah, the, there was yeah, like the, the Dutch hard. album. There was um yeah the Digger album. I went with Dutch actually. Oh, oh did you? Yeah 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 back, yeah. Back, yeah, back, yeah, back. yeah. See, uh, there was um yeah Dutch album. There's a Digger album. Um, there's a Sench album. I know T's album right above Hit. That was quite a good one. Okay, that was his debut. Uh, so there are, there yeah, are I guess, albums. yeah, I guess so. But what would you say is a blueprint? If you had to go back to one, if Drill was like about to finish, yeah, and they said, "What is the Bible of Drill?" That's a very good question. I like that. What is the one album that you'll go to <laughs> to say that this is this is the album that yeah. I keep on going back to, and this is the album that makes me go, "Nah, this stood the test of time. This is gonna stand for another fifteen years," because everyone knew mm. that was gonna happen with Boy in the Corner. Everyone knew. Everyone knew. For Dizzy Roll School's Boy in the Corner, everyone knew yeah. that that was going to happen. I'm, I'm Not in the sense of the extent of the impact, but they inst everyone knew it was something special. Yeah. Because the thing is, for me, when I first ever heard it, yeah. it was just weird for me because yeah. I never heard anything like it. That's but it. then I started listening to it and understanding, wait, hold on, he's actually carving a pathway for, for something new, exciting and fresh. The reason why at that time, 
to up to to the masses he was literally the king yeah. because he had something that was representing us he was talking about you know girls um being pregnant at 15 he was talking about people dying on the wayside he was talking about um you know prostitutes he was talking about you know people losing people like he was talking about well, things i'm not saying that drill don't do that i'm not saying that drill don't but it was a thing of everyone knew at that time like yeah this is the album and maybe at that time as well yeah like he was probably the only one to push it out because remember at the time when boy in the corner came out there was no was, sound like, oh. it, it, what kano came with home sweet home after the album sick uh, album yeah. sick as well but th- that's what i'm saying but at the time i think he was the first to start pushing out albums but everyone felt now like, we're, we're still going back to the boy in the corner because even he says it no matter no, what i do mm, everyone goes back to my first album a, one thing i want you to know as well is um the dizzy wily link i know it's always tricky territory but yeah. i always wanted to like know how how was that this is the guy to ask the, yeah. well, in terms of um because obviously um they were mentors of his um no guess. actually well this is because it's deeper because the, the the then more the that they part. talk, the more yeah. the truth is coming out between them two. But yeah. what I'm gathering is, was DJ Target showed Dizzy first about certain things. And then Dizzy was starting <laughs> to build the name as a DJ and then started spitting. And then Wiley discovered him and right. then put him onto Pay As You Go. And then, but Wiley was leaving Pay As You Go to go and form Roll Deep at the time. Mm-hmm. So when he was forming Roll Deep, he brought Dizzy with him. And then that time, it, Wiley was the number one um, MC at that time, but yeah. did, everyone knew Dizzy was going to not surpass him, but he was going to be there because Dizzy just everything was just unique about Dizzy. So it's the voice, UK Drake and Kanye. <laughs> what did right. you say? The UK Drake and Kanye. I like, would say it's more. We mentor each other and then we became that. Like, yeah, well, process. Drake and Kanye, because I don't know about the situation with Drake and Kanye. It was yeah. more, it, you could say it's more like, actually, no, you could say it's more like Jay Z and Kanye. Kanye. That's even a better. Yeah, because yeah. say it was more Jay Z and Kanye because like it was like brothers. Okay. But guess what? I'm gonna go here, and you're gonna go there. And yeah. literally, after the incident that happened in Nine Apple, which obviously Someone separated. Got stabbed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dizzy got stabbed. Then that's when Roll Deep started separating. Then, but Dizzy said, "I'm going solo" because he had the solo deal already. Mm. Because actually, Wiley and Dizzy both signed to Excel at the same time. Yeah. But Diz, we all knew. Dizzy was going to come out first because, weird enough, I Love You, I Love You and Eskimo were the yeah. two biggest records from Graham at the time, Absolutely. but Eskimo was an instrumental. Oh, I Love yes. You was a vocal track. So everyone knew that I Love You was going to come out first because it was a vocal track. Whereas Eskimo, everybody was waiting. Is he going to put vocals on it? Yeah. I put it interlude, as an interlude on his album. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you mad? I remember, I remember. You're the one that showed me that. Are you mad? He did, mad. He did yeah. the interlude. The whole time we bought the album, we're thinking, yep, I heard Eskimo, he's got a singer, or he's got a collaboration with this person. I just did a 15 second skit of Eskimo. Done. That instrument was disgusting. That, the is, instrumental destroyed everything inside. Whoa. But whoa, whoa, that's whoa. when it, we knew, yeah, like. Man. Yeah. Dizzy was going to go from there, and then when he dropped uh, Fix Up Look Sharp, that's when everyone started to see started the artist. Yeah, yeah, that's when everyone started to see the artist of Dizzy. The so, time, yeah, do you know what I mean? But at the time, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying there's not talented people in drill because I've seen mm. that there can be talented people in drill. I, I just mean, don't. There was the Drill Commandments album. Um, yeah. By who? Uh, it was by um, Bando and Double O's. Okay, I don't but know those artists, but okay, um, are yeah. they? Bando K's, uh, so yeah. who would you say is the most liberal oh, drill artist? I like on 19. I'm not gonna yeah, like yeah. That's what I'm saying. That is what you said about, um, you know, when as soon as you hear, hear an artist, you know they're different. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. It's not going to be anyone that's like the like same. Them in a sense. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel that like Unknown T was supposed to do this. Yeah. Whereas I feel that like a lot yeah. of drill artists are just forcing themselves to do Do you do think it. that's the difficulty of navigating in the drill settings, though, is that, well, drill... <coughs> Is drill, like we've we've got lost in source with it now and it's become commercial, but drill is drill. So, right, without it, being blatant, no. to be, almost become the top drill artist or to have a definitive drill album, you kind of have to be a mass murderer as well. Do you know what's funny? So Do you know what's funny? Line. It's mad because yeah. drill is going through the exact same thing Graham did. That's why I was asking about it. the Wiley Dizzy yeah, analogy. It, because it's like it's going through the exact same thing because, mm. because Graham was doing the same thing. Like, man, will catch your mom. 
shoot, bang, da 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 type of thing. And the reason why I did go is who he is is because he's both commercial and he's smart with the like, right. The and he's probably got the influence also, from Graham as well. And also, he's now like been telling everyone it was me that done this. It yeah. was me that done that. So it's almost like right. I need to show that I have yeah. no receipts. I don't need to show no receipts. I'm the most yeah. cruddy cruddy. And that's the problem is that maybe the reason why we don't have a definitive dual album per se, or I could be wrong, someone might comment in and say, but it's because um, unfortunately some of the lifespan of the rappers that we yeah. have, or some of the, especially when they're going to prison, yeah. uh, self-snitching in a sense of, unfortunately, they the don't GPS. get the opportunity to. Yeah, the GPS unfortunately they don't, they don't even get the opportunity to um, yeah, produce that like that definitive album yet. Yeah. But I think you yeah. know what? It's this is slightly gonna contradict what I was saying earlier, but yeah. I think sometimes it's actually not their fault because mm. over the years the control of the music's gotten worse. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. the labels are more involved. Whereas when Dizzy was coming out at the beginning, there was labels begging to collaborate and they were like, No, we can do it ourselves. Yeah. And type of thing. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like with the drill scenario, it's as soon as you got a big tune, straight away, Universal, straight away, Atlanta, <laughs> straight away, Sony. Do you know what I mean? Um, Without even crafting, growing it organically yeah, yeah, yeah. and doing it organically, it's just straight away, bang, straight away, bang. I'm not saying that a lot, because I had Diggity, it's not even got a deal, but then I'm like, no, but that doesn't make, like, does he or does he mean not? But then yeah. it goes deep because they're doing a lot of disclosure deals underneath the table where they're telling people still tell everyone you're independent but we're going to take over the poster in deals. and that's right. the difficulty right. especially when you're coming out prison you're coming out of like yeah just their independent 360 second. deals were this unheard is, if yeah. you get if you yeah. promoted if you presented a 360 deal to any artist in the early two like early 2000s they think you're absolutely mad they would think you're mad yeah. because they will know like why are you taking a bit of my merchandise Everything. a bit of this Stuff. a bit of that and all that and and a deal when you get a record deal it's based on the vinyl and the cds that you sell mm. that was based on the merchandise the touring yes. that's separate yeah. now with 360 deals they're getting a piece of the pie of every and single the name. <laughs> Which is why it's mad. And you know where 360 actually started coming from, yeah. weird enough, was from Darren from um, Channel. Channel. Because what was his label? 360 uh, uh, Records. Uh, uh, oh, okay. And he signs That's Devlin, N Dubs. See, I told you, this guy. He's this guy. Because no, yeah. Darren, yeah. Yeah. no, because at the time, Darren wanted to sign me, but yeah. he was telling me what he did. And then I was like, like, so basically, cut a long story short, a lot of people that signed to you got um, <laughs> bumped. But this is how he did it. This is why mm. it rolled on. So what I heard was that and he had a, I don't want to expose too much, but basically when N-Dub signed with him, he was guaranteeing them yeah. that they were going to be stars because he had the biggest channel on Sky. That's so cool. he was guaranteeing you're gonna be number one. You're gonna, you're gonna be regardless. regardless. But the only thing is, I've got to take eighty five percent of your publishing, and that's how it operates now. Unfortunately. But it was, right. it, was a, it was a good. It's a good sacrifice. It was a, to me because personally, when you think good. about it, it's like, because boy, become, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But this is another thing, sir. Yeah. There's another thing. You know when you're talking about three sixty deals or whatever, every deal is different. Yeah, it, it's negotiable. Yeah, so when they this whole this whole um, frightening uh, uh, phrase. Um, 360 deal yeah. Yeah. yeah people automatically get scared they're yeah. back against the wall yeah. not knowing that it's called that but you you got lawyers in it you can just turn that around and make sure that it's oh it's okay to deal mm. with mm. but then you got this guy here who's yeah. doing it independent and he owns everything that he does yeah That's he owns saying. his work he's yeah. got ownership of his work yeah. Yeah. so with with the 360 deals, model, man. Yeah. 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 yeah 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 so so yeah. This, this is the thing with 360 as as charles has been saying anyway mm. um it, it depends on what you what what sacrifice you're willing to 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 to, to take is it sacrifice yes yeah. willing, sacrifice, to take. willing to take to get what you wanted but go, sorry but go back all to i can say is to thing. anyone listening in like always remember it should be always about collaboration yeah. it should never be a thing of somebody fully controlling that's your it. project that's it should it. be a collaboration if if you get the best deal it's because the label is basically saying you don't really need us yeah <laughs> but we're giving you a deal because we want to collaborate with you and we want to be part of your journey and we want to help 
your journey as well because we feel that this is going to work for the next 10 15 years so please can we do at least a five album <laughs> tour yeah. that, that will benefit hey, you, you? Yeah. And, and and you know so forth sometimes you yeah. do get certain deals that you haven't got no hype and you sign a five album deal mm. and you're thinking like that's mad like they're just owning everything but you could recoup everything within one deal with one album yeah through streaming or syncs you could just recoup everything. You could just make double folds. You've done your deal. Mm. That's it. I don't need to. I need, I don't need to worry no more because I don't owe the label anything. If the label wants to put the next album out, I'm not going to be pressured. But the only difference is it's going to be a thing of you've got to make sure that you've got enough hype for them to be like, let's bring out a second album. That's the difficulty, and then that's where the commerciality comes in. Yeah, that's where yeah. If we're operating in drill settings where the actual credibility yeah. comes in, because you can have the commercial aspects, you can mm. have the commercial settings, yeah. but then you can also have, um, yeah, or you can have the, the most lyrical, lyrical. I was yeah. having a conversation with some of my boys yesterday, and they were like, we're talking about certain um, artists, yeah. they're saying, yeah, he weren't on crud back in the day, or he, he's, <laughs> yeah. not, he's not even the most lyrical in his yeah. end, yeah. but it's the marketability. Yeah. And it's even um, something, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because you said about Dizzy. So, um, current artist from South. Hardy, he just sampled um, Dizzy Rascal and he just done... Um, oh yeah, um, Hardy Caprio or something yeah, like that. I Love You. Yeah, in yeah. I Love You, but yeah. in one of the freestyles he said, um, people are dying to impress kids from Cornwall. And that's that's a uh, that's, that's a good a summary. That's a good that's summary a from that's, that's a that's good bar. summary or drill because that is a, no, it's, not even, it's, not, it's not even it's not even <laughs> it's not even yeah. um, to drill it's just yeah. it's been like that for years mm. because i tell you why he's on point with that because yeah. i remember a time where me and my mates were saying that skepta's commercial music is pants yeah like, why is he doing that and as soon as he went back to grime and did whatever at one oh, point he was the, he was the biggest uk artist yeah the biggest uk artist because he just believed in his own sound and did it because yeah. he said that i was trying to impress everyone i was following the universal blueprint let's mm. do commercial music and all that because really and truly if we want to do gigs and sell it out across the country we've got to touch the cornwalls we've got to touch the sunderland uh, massive we've got to touch you know the liverpoolians and, and the mancunians and all that do you know what i mean but really and truly the mancunians and liverpoolians were like no just do grime yeah just do grime that's it that's the madness as well because a lot of it is or was to do with postcodes yeah so, and i think that's it um a lot of people are championing artists from their own postcode like even um i speaking to jake mm. uh one of my dj friends yeah and he was saying you go up north certain areas they're putting uh pouring stuff on your equipment telling you to lock off the tune just because of where my man's from oh no man, the tune slaps it's just like just Arrah. because of where they're from Arrah. so i guess that's the difficulty as well is that but at the same time when the white mates man. will be saying he's doing gigs up in like mm. up in like Lincoln or Peterborough and all that and he said yeah. that every single time he does gigs yeah. the only two people that people will ask for have you got nines or have you got CBs yeah no. do you know what I mean so yeah can't and, and everyone, you can't please everyone do you know mm. what I mean but it's real it's real like yeah. it's real it's like a thing of you can't please everybody but at the same time people want their area to be the biggest and That's I think it's it. just gone worse now. It before it was just about music. Like yeah. it goes back to the beginning of my statement on this podcast. Yeah. It was about music. And now there's just so many different factors of why people are doing it. You don't know if people are generally doing it for the love or doing it because they want to get an invitation at the next premiere yeah. on the red carpet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for the gram. Yeah. Oh, Am I lying? Yeah. Nah, not. Clout is killing our people. Oh. It's <laughs> killing our people. Yeah. We have a conversation. You know, and you put two albums down. Yeah. The brother with a million followers knows that your album is better, but he's gonna say, "But how many followers you got, I'm bro?" Jenny. and it's all about <sighs> social proof. You know what I mean? How many? About, but, but what's your stream saying, fam? Breaking the algorithm. Like, because it don't it's matter. not about streams, bro. Mm. No, it is though, fam. It is. Well, it is, fam. Yeah. How many followers you got, bro? Then it's irrelevant. Do you know what I mean? But it's not relevant. If we're talking about music, yeah. where the streams or where does following get involved it's in popularity mm -hmm. and clout that's what do you know said. what i mean it's yeah. popularity and clout like there's out yeah. iconic <laughs> albums there's probably iconic albums in grime that hasn't been discovered yet but the reason yeah. why it's been overshadowed same thing probably drill yeah. and probably comes back to me but it's just yeah. it's a clout game everyone's mm -hmm. thinking about the clout 
And it that's the problem with the microwave music. Like, sorry yeah. to cut you off. That's it. That's yeah. exactly the problem with microwave music. And maybe that's why, like we said about the albums and projects, it's yeah. like you've got so so much focus on um, your next comeback, mm. your next uh, your next big track, yeah, your next big. Because um, they say you're not better. Th- you're, you're only as good as your last, your last album. Hit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And everything like that. So last there's hit, yeah. like nothing you can really do about it. All you can do is just literally. Just put music out, man. Yeah. yeah, put music out, and I guess you know that even more as a producer. But, yeah, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, I want to say, like, yeah, to, yeah, because I just even feel like it's not even just the kids; it's the highest that be, like, it's the DJs, it is the producers. Uh-huh. They, they, them, they're even bigger of the influence than the kids of that kind of argument about streams because they're like not coming. This is a beautiful, and, great record. It's more like, listen, this guy, he's got 50 million streams right now. Oh, bro. Everyone's talking I mean, about him. So, yeah. Dude, this guy could be a killer. You know, yeah. With all due respect, and I don't want to yeah. be too graphic, but this guy could even be a rapist, bro, mm. and all that. And it shows, like, look at what happened with R. Kelly. Yeah. They knew that his record label, Jive Records, knew he was a paedophile, but they kept on saying back to the people that were trying to stop um, his music. No, or the people in the offices were telling him, look, he's getting this case, he's getting that case, bad publicity. Well, they were saying to him, but yeah. how, many, how much did he sell last week? Same happened with Elvis, and I guess the, even down to hip-hop as well. Same happened with, like we said, about Killers. Right. The killers as well. Like, we didn't know that Snoop killed a man. We didn't know that, that they like, shacked up a man. Yeah, but we still tune in and listen. True, true and that's it. And, yeah, and that's, that's real life, though. That's like, real people, life. But yeah. No, but that's what I'm saying. The fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter. Mm. He did it at 800... Thousand first week. Yeah, no so, one cares. Look at Amy, like, what you said. Don't about Amy. care. They don't care. Like mm-hmm. as long as you're selling, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, with Amy, you said, Amy. Telling me he's like, yeah. if you really wanted to help a person, take them out of their environment, get them better. We've got no. We need to sell the album. Millions, now. and she was, on, she was on. She was on bit, bro. Yeah. We need to sell the album now. Just, Most, just even as tax man coming in at the end of making, April. Yeah, posthumously so she's still selling. Yeah, they don't care. Don't care. Don't care. You're just, you're just a number. Yeah. Exactly. Do you get me? It's like yeah. Squid Game from music. It's a real life. It's a Squid Game from music, it's but it's just the reality. It's, do you know what I mean? When, when as Charles is saying, man, yeah. it's cookie cutter, microwave right now, and people don't care. Yeah. People really. I, he he's, he said it. He's got it in a nutshell. So I don't even know why I'm repeating it. What he said. Mm. Basically, what he said. So, so I, what makes your guys' albums different? Let's touch upon it. What makes where would you want to see the where your album and EP? Where okay. your projects? Where would you want to see the direction of music going now? After all we've talked about, are you like, asking me or both in general? Both of you, like where would, part, on a personal level, where back would you want to see your back career? Back to the change? essence of it. Yeah, back okay. to the essence. I, That's I, why I, where me, I want music to go now. Back to the essence. Mm. I feel like we've lost the essence. I feel like music should go back to the essence where people, it sh- it shows that you are a musician rather than somebody okay. trying to think okay um okay. to add to I that, that. I'll, I'll be honest he's he's again what he said yeah i'm just saying on one of the drill records that i've done mm. um it literally on on the thing it literally says remember on og um i'm literally saying that with i'm an og in it like i'm from the golden days yeah to get me and i'm talking about if you ain't got views, then you won't get played because DJs ain't on job these days. Yeah, yeah. so we're taking it back yeah. to where where it initially came from without disrespecting the new generation. Cause remember, we were the new generation. Yeah, do you get me? But we we was on the transition level. Yeah. I like yeah, yeah, we were yeah. the transition. We saw the old school. Like our old school heads hate the new school. Yeah, we 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 paid homage to our, what our parents were listening to. We loved it. We went through it, we were the transition, yeah. so we respected that, and now we're seeing, seeing the new generation. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, all this, I'm saying yeah. is, let me tell you something, yeah, and yeah. I always say this cool, I've got to respect what they're doing, yeah. I just don't like it the way they're doing it mm. because, again, I respect their team, yeah, don't respect what they're about, but I know that there's a movement that they're rolling with, doesn't mean I have to take to it because there's a million other people that are like, hey. Like, that's sick, you know. I love that. Yo, 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 no cap, no cap. Yeah, yeah. they're on that and th- they enjoy it. So I understand the movement. Yeah. I love the fact that I can see, like, what, the um, late teens and early 20 dons buying their mum's houses. Mm. That makes me feel good. I like that side. That side makes me feel happy. Yeah. But the, the other side, nah, I'm not in it. But I respect the movement. I the next that. generation, yeah, I'm not even going to swear. 
They're messed right now. The next generation is done out here, yeah? yeah. Literally. Yeah. Nah, no, no, no. Yeah. Um, and I'm generalizing. No, no, I'll just I'm, keep I'm it 100. Yeah. Now, you, you're an old soul. I don't care. You're, you're an old soul. <laughs> Do you know why? So, because similar, similar to you, in my drill track, so that ended up being one of my biggest tracks. Right. Um, the chorus goes, if I don't answer the phone, I'm working, trying to make bags not working. Will the tune blow next week on certain? Maybe this one might turn them into a fan I am. And that was basically talking right. about, awesome. will this tune blow <laughs> because it's a drill track? Yeah, because the other tunes aren't slapping like that. Yeah, and that that it's the same same sort of thing that you're. But then you see how the yeah. cycle that you're in, mm. because now it's the peer pressure. Mm. Because now you're thinking, in in one aspect, right? I'm getting most feedback <laughs> because I'm doing what they want. Yeah, but is it something that I want to do? That's I'm it. not saying that it ain't something you want to do, but is yeah. it something I want to do? Yeah, and that's why I feel like with the generation today, they're doing a lot of stuff because. It's the, not and easy. I don't want to cut you off, but when you do no, it, no, it's not the easy, easy way. It, sometimes about. it can be the no, easy no. route, but sometimes it's the thing. You were talking about this generation, the same, the same quote. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's yeah. about this thing. It's the thing that's popping right now. It's the mm. thing that everyone's listening to. So mm. I might as well Is jump it? on. But it's mad mm. because now it's more in the case of everybody. Like, there's so many people want to be musicians. Saturation. Real. Like, back in our time, it was probably about five percent. You had to wait to go. You're, if you yeah. go in studio, you're mad gassed. Yeah, because yeah. you're like it's about five five percent, five percent back in the day of artists. Yeah. So if anyone came out with something, it was substance. Mm. You know what I mean? There was a lot of crap that came through Channel U. Let's be real. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But, but that, that, that was that was the start. The yeah, that was yeah, the beginning yeah. of indicating that anybody wants to do music. It's their passion. It's their passion. So it doesn't mean no, quality. But I, I yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. There's yeah. there's quality and there's quantity. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe in. I don't. I don't. I don't shun anyone who started. No way, because we all start from somewhere. Yeah. 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 Because the other day I was listening to my beats that I made in two thousand and four. Uh, Whack. Yeah. Like, I, no, 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 I, yeah. So <laughs> so with that, you know, everything has to start somewhere. But yeah. if you're gonna put yourself in a position where you're being seen by millions, mm. someone's gonna say something that you won't like 100%. because your pants. Yeah. You still got a lot of growth before you get to that stage yeah. to be able to put music out there where people can appreciate it. Mm. But like he said, there was a lot of rubbish out there, but there was an essence of like there, what was how much percentage would you say that is a quality out of a hundred? Like uh, at, what at the time? At that now, time, at time, um, the quality was probably about eighty. All right, so he's yeah, saying eighty percent. I agree with him. Yeah, quality. Sorry. Yeah, because you knew they somebody can. went out their way and sat down. Went through beats, realized this is the one, and wrote it like. Yeah, and what what you know yeah. what I mean? What you said, yeah, you said who mixed it? I'm a producer yeah. guy. No, but really what I'm like, saying, yeah. yeah. But the fact that in this day and age, someone to say that that means there is a percentage of people that yeah. know about quality. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, that it's, it's what it's, it's a rarity, isn't it's it? It's just now just mm. keep on pushing it out, and I just think I don't think there's only five percent. I think there's probably about 30, 40 that still believe. In the music and the quality and stuff like that, but I do feel like when you've got the powers that be that yeah. are not are just signing anything now. Yeah, that's man. that's what, what it just they makes don't want to take the risk. They, they don't want to take the risk never because take you got to look at look at it in another way. It's still not it's it's not their fault as well because mm. they're they're a business and <laughs> streaming doesn't make a money business, yeah. man. for any artist. <laughs> it only makes money for for um the labels yeah. and that's why labels do 360s because labels can't afford anything anymore yeah. they can afford enough like you you sell a million a million records yeah. that's 10 million to an artist yeah. he has to divide that with the label so the label's looking at least five million out of that already yeah you've made your money yeah you're not making that no more you're not people I'm, making a mil like 10 million from just music alone how, has to be people like ed sheeran and adele yeah. do you how, know what i mean how many how many records sorry sorry how many records is it to go number one like now it could vary mm. it, it it does it sometimes it, it all depends on the um the market so for example if somebody's only sold ten thousand streams yeah whatever and that person's done 20 and it's in within that week that person becomes number one that's yeah. amazing that's mad 
Whereas before, if you did a hundred, you had to do two hundred like years ago in ninety nine yeah. or two thousand and one. You That's had to sell two hundred and fifty thousand yeah. records Jesus. in the same week yeah. to go number one. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty thousand. That's when you knew two hundred and fifty thousand <coughs> people went out of their way, went to Virgin Mega Stores H or H and M or yeah H and H and V. H &V sorry, to buy my records. That's yeah. when you knew I am a star. Yeah. I, like, ah, I, I, I'm a star. There's no star quality no more. No disrespect to anyone. Oh my I can't, god! Everyone, like, no disrespect here. Yeah, but what? I, this is my personal well, opinion. To to get, they look like. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I just see bare youth coming out of sixth form. One of them could be a star that I don't even know because there's no star quality. Come okay. at me. It is what it is, and I can't no, but see. I'll be real nice, facts, because. Back in the day when you used to get signed, the first thing is you would go through artist development. Yeah, that's so it. they would teach you how to perform. They would teach you how to work with a band, X, Y, and Z. You yeah. know, training and stuff like that. Now it's a thing of you. I've been to so many shows and I've seen artists on stage, and I'm like, you are a pants because you don't don't know how to look in to the crowd. You lot are talking over the record. What's the point of me coming here listening to you? rap over the record Dipset. with vocals when mm. i could just go home and listen to the whole album myself on apple music yeah like it makes no sense i come for a performance i want you to do it this is why you gotta rate people like little sims mm. because she hey. can perform she can pick up a guitar she can do the drums she can play the piano and she can rap she is an artist yeah she is an artist like in her own right like you know yeah you're paying 30 40 pound to watch her yeah. I'm not paying, but I don't feel I'm paying well, 30, 40 pounds to watch a lot of artists from Drill because I just feel like it doesn't feel like you're going to inspire me. It feels like, oh, mm -hmm. give me the mic, let me spit with you as well. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? And I know we got to make a move soon because you guys are, are um, I know you got to make a move, yeah. but I really wish I got you guys on for another part two because nah, I, nah, I was going to we, we do, do a part two. We can do a part two. Because I want to delve more into that. I didn't, we didn't even touch on production. I wanted to ask, even behind the boards, like yeah. Yeah. taking away artists alone because you are touching upon a new artist that you check for now, yeah. which I want, I want you to get a top five of, like you guys said, a blueprint of albums that you rated back in the day mm -hmm. or albums that you check for now, but also behind the boards. The yeah. value of behind the boards and production. Do you want a quick one? On Just that a one? quick one. Yeah, give me one of the albums. The artists, no, uh, or, or what, producers, what? producers that inspire uh, producers. you and producers that you check for. Okay, now. first and foremost, yeah, yeah, everyone's using the same sound pack. Okay. Facts. Um, everyone selling the the draw sound pack. Everyone is using the same sound pack. What door do you use? Reselling. Huh? What door do you use? I use Logic. I started okay. off on Fruity Loops before anyone was on Fruity Loops. Yeah. My you was made on Fruit of Loops. <laughs> um, Hill Street Souls Wash Away, that is um, big in America, was made on Fruit of Loops. I used to get laughed at for using Fruit of Loops. Now that's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So everyone, and to be fair, I'm not even going to guess. It, it's about the air, not the gear. Whatever you do, however you create it, it's up to you. Pots and pans, you record that, boom. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you use. But me, I'm comfortable with Logic yeah. because it's quick for me because I've, I've learned how to use it quicker. On yeah. Fruit Loops back in the day, I was a dagger at Fruit Loops. Yeah. yeah, free Fruit Loops free. Yeah, before it was FL Studio, right? Um, I had the, well, there was nothing there, so man had to do what what I was I was given. Now everything's Logic. I mean, Cho's album was recorded at my gate, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. on Logic. Okay. And, well, even the record, the whole Logic record, with Fruit Loop beats. Fruit, yeah, bro. Yeah, I I was doing Logic. You get me? But for my as a go to, mm. I'd say Logic for now. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm yet to, because I'm not a person just to stick with, with one. It's always good to learn others. Like people were telling me about Ableton, um, you know, other other doors that are, you know, are there. I like to try, but when it's time to quickly do something, like an idea yeah. that I've got in my head at like three o'clock in the morning, boom, it's, it's straight open up logic and just go ham. I hear you that, get me? Man. So that's, but again, going back to what the um, producers now, the only way I can tell it's a different producer if they put their tag at the front. Okay. I'm so not lying. Am I lying? Bam. Every I tell you, I'm a producer, I can give you a name of yeah. what you check for. Like, in terms of just having the quality. What you want me to tell every, you? Yeah, every mix that I could give you, I could give oh, you. Oh, you're going to give me? Trins. Right. Trins is an artist. You should say in terms of oh, like deep packs and okay. stuff. Yeah. And sonic quality. Okay. Anytime I step in the studio and I'm listening to like a drill track and I right. can hear is a trends beat, I can hear the difference in quality. Oh yeah, yeah. When, when, when it comes down to mm. mixing stuff down and, and yeah. EQing and 
Sonics means a lot. Like you could. All right, yeah. first and foremost, yeah, plug. Not even a plug. I'm joking. Yeah, no, go for I was it. about to plug. Listen, no, I'm not plugging. Yeah, but I'm just gonna say this no, no. about you guys. My you, my you, yeah, yeah. my you. One of the worst mixes in my entire life. Yeah. Sonics, awful. Yeah. Yeah. The reverb of the room because we didn't have reflectors or nothing. Yeah. I didn't even know about compression and threshold. How about that? I didn't know anything about EQ. Yeah? yeah. Didn't even know how to use logic. Right? Yeah. People still loved it though. Yeah, so, yeah. but when it comes to now, sonically, like working on Chose's album, and this is what I love, first and foremost, here's an artist who's hands on but knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? He could come and he said, nah, Shay, I want this sound. He'd be like, oh, just turn it up there, like tops, more delay there. Like he can, he understands the language. Mm. Yeah, where a lot of producers now, no disrespect, you're doing your thing. Go go make your money, boo boo. Yeah? yeah. But for me, again, like I'll say it, everyone's using the same sound. I can't, I can't hear. Do you know when I when I'm when I was working on, on my drill thing, yeah? Yeah. I made my first ever drill beat, yeah. Do you know how easy it was for me to make? Like sweet. I even you see that whim whatever the bass line, yeah? Yeah. They've got a plug-in for that. I made it myself. Okay. So there's a difference. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm the biggest producer in the world, but I know quality. Yeah. I understand sound. I can I can't go to a shubs or whatever without dissecting the beat. I look at him and say, "Hey, fab, did you hear that snare?" Yeah, That's literally. It. You know, yeah. like even now when I listen to old tunes like Spice Girls records, like Wannabe. Yeah. You have to listen to when it I listen, no, nah, but when I listen to it now, I'm like, oh, the production was pants, but the vibe and energy was good. Yeah. So with it within production now. Okay, I've seen I've seen videos. Sorry, I know where the time is. No, the, listen. How about you guys' time? More. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so right, I know so you gotta make a right, move. Right, so right, let me yeah, let yeah, me right, just right, let me right, just quickly just yeah. hit this one. Yeah? yeah. So I've seen videos, and you know, big up big up the labels on this one because mm. they just gotta like pay for the budget, bro. You can save so much money. Yeah. Man, them chose. I swear down. I saw this video. I'm gonna send you a link. Man, them went. To a big old studio, you know, mm. like 64 channel mixer, you know. Yeah, 64. I'm talking about SL. Yeah, like, you know what I'm talking about. Adam so Speakers, yeah. you know. Adam Speakers. Yeah. LS10s. Yeah, bro, they got the works. Even the room is, is treated. Treated, sorry. Yeah. Acoustically. Yeah. Brother went to them studios there with 64 channels and oh. Pro Tools, yeah, and plugged in on channel one and two. It is true. <laughs> Fab, it just shows you. Bro, like I said, I, I, am, I am a bedroom producer, mm. but I know quality. Yeah. I can tell, you know, uh, when, when I'm working on something, how long does it take man to vibe? Depends Just the vibe. On the, it, it depends, depends on, on the record. Yeah, it depends on the record. It depends These youths the nowadays have got a template. Facts, yeah? They, they got templates. Yeah. I've even seen when uh, uh, someone was on getting interviewed or whatever, a man was just sitting there, chose, this is so funny. Man sitting there and they say, oh, what's, what do you do? Yeah, we just, you know, like we just find a, a different kind of bass line. Man pulled up the same bass line. Yeah. Then he said, you know, like, let's get a nice little loop. Same loop that everyone else is using. Yeah. You just fling on the drums. Mm. Really? Like that, to me, it just seems like they don't care. Yeah. There's no care in the world for production. Even recording. To them, if they like when you was talking about Sonics and is it trill trims? Trins? Trins. Trins. Yeah. Apologies. So when you say like when you go into the room and you can hear the difference. Now, if you listen to a lot of YouTube videos, yeah, mm. which they download and whatnot, yeah, for a mixtape it's fine. But have you noticed when they buy the record and it's from a label, have you noticed the difference in sound? Yeah. Yeah, like you if you heard like R D's record, yeah. Sonic quality. Like was it Oliver different. Twist? You know that tune? I love yeah, that beat. Nah. That beat's mad. When you hear it, yeah. It spreads wider it than spreads, mix. yeah, the EQs and everything, the Sonics, it's wonderful. It's gone course. through that process. Yeah. And that's with Chose's album, DIY, right? Yeah. We went through the process, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, like do. he like he he's he's an avid writer. Yeah. Do you get me? I'm a fan of his work. No cap. Yeah. yeah. No mm -hmm. lie, actually. No I'm cap, sure. you know. Yeah. But it, he, I'm I'm a fan of his work. Why? Mm -hmm. Because he doesn't hold back and he's able to to be that gymnast. Yeah. To push himself to actually make those records. So it'd be like, boom, he'll go to Skulls, they'll vibe, whatever. He'd be like, yeah, that one. Yeah? yeah, I've seen it with my own eyes, man. I'll be like, yeah, send me that. Send me that. Oh, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, send that to me. Send man will have a record yeah. that he'll write, he'll write. He'll put his, he'll put effort into the writing. Mm. He'll, he'll have nuances, little cadence and whatnot. Mm. 
you know what I mean? Even with myself, when I attack, like you were saying about the drill thing, yeah. I hit it how I would hit another record. Yeah. You know, I'm not cookie cut, I'm not microwave. This is the difference within like the, the, the behind the scenes where we put effort and love and blood, sweat and tears into it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That ends the reason DIY. We do it ourselves, yeah. but we put ourselves onto the record. Yeah. But not just because my guy is saying the same thing. Bro, to me, I'm from London. I don't live in no postcode, postcode. I'm from London. Mm. I grew up in London. Like I can go anywhere I want to because I love London. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't live off of no postcode. It's yeah. not me. I can't I can't say what anyone else says because I I grew up nice, you know. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I grew up re not really, really up there, but I grew up in a nice neighborhood. I was good. My parents like raised me well. Yeah. As they could. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna so yeah. Yeah, so I'm not gonna go off of like what a next man's doing. The quality to me has gone down. There's no respect for the music no more. He's touched on that. It's all, it was all about the music and how we would like to take it back to the essence of the music, where it started and where the passion was. Yeah. Yeah, because there's passion, but we just don't get to hear it as much. Okay. There's no, there's no, the behind the scenes are just same as the front of house. Yeah. Now, yeah. back in the day, you never saw, you, you could never see what was going on behind because it was ugly as hell. Yeah. Back there is exactly the same as when you see man on stage. No, that's the forefront. That's, it's the forefront, which is what's going on. It just doesn't, it don't move me. Mm. I, this is my personal opinion. I haven't been, what, Charles, what, 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 when was the last time I spoke about a tune about, oh, that's sick. No, it's about something that I heard from a couple of years ago. I mean, and we'll converse about it saying, rah, man I didn't even that. clock, you know. Yeah. Man didn't even clock that sound and how it went and, oh, did you hear that bar? Yeah. We mm. like bars. If, like, yeah, bro. It, it, we walk and we like what do we do some silliness where we start barring at each other even mm. on, on whatsapp yeah. we just spit bars at each other i don't hear bars no more unless you got the what the j coles yeah the the um what's the name again kendrick's mm. like obviously the, these are american artists and they got a different demographic yeah because you can go platinum in a city do you know what i'm saying yeah, it's yeah, a different yeah. population but there's a quality control they are involved um, I was watching like Pensado's place at the engineer, you know. Stay yeah, come Pensado, on, do you Pensado, not. Come on, yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, come on. Yeah, come on, come on. So yeah, when yeah, they're yeah. taking things there, and yeah. um, and there was another um, master and engineer. I can't. No, I think it was Pensado, mm. and he said like basically when Kendrick comes to the session, yeah, he is the session. Okay. He's just not letting him. He's just like just because you're good at what you do. Yeah. No, you could be a great at what you do, but do you know my record? Are you in my record? When we send it, I'll type P. Mm -hmm. One of the dopest master engineers we know, right? Dope, yeah. right? He, yeah. he does his thing, but he asks what we like. Okay. Yeah, where do we want to go with it? You know what I mean? It's not like, yeah, yeah, I've done my thing. Even then, if someone said, yeah, we done, you've done your thing, but we wanted how many revisions can we get to make it right? Okay. They're not doing that no more. It's like, oh, yeah, it's big studio. All right, cool, 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 sick. Done. Yeah. There's, there's the, the, the thing is bringing it back to where we want to and how he said it the quality needs to come back and we're bringing that in the forefront now mm. and there are a few people but we don't know where they are because they don't want to do it they're doing it as a hobby but don't realise the talent that they have yeah. I've probably got neighbours that are doing better stuff than I am 100%. but that's what I'm saying yeah. going back to Charles well, yeah. it is what it is the, the quality control mm. that's what we like to do the process needs to be respected and, but I respect what they're doing I hear that. I hear that because that's the same way I feel. When I found out that my mom was like seventeen years old, yeah. I was like, I need to step my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen that five-year-old or the, the eleven-year-old kid? He's from America. Nah, oh, he's nah. killing it. He's killing it. But you can play bare instruments, producers. He made me feel shame. This is what I mean. This is what I'm it's saying. Like, it's, and he uses logic, mm. and he goes in. Go the world is yeah. a big place, man. And the fact is, you're going to discover new and mm. to discover something better. Yeah, you say at the time, but I personally believe for you to be a complete artist, just one thing is perseverance. So there's a lot. This of, is an important thing to close upon. Actually, yeah. this is great because I I was actually gonna say, what do you guys think in closing would be today's learning, or what would you summarize as like great learning to take away? Perseverance. You gotta yeah. just keep at it. Okay, it's gonna keep at it. You might be strayed one day yeah. that you see something come up, come across upon something. Sorry, and like. You might think, oh, I need to step my game up, I need to do this and all that. But that person doesn't have the same drive as you because yeah. you're probably, that person just found that luck at that specific time and age. Whereas you probably will get to that luck within 10 years time 
but yeah. you'll be more with because information is power so the fact is you have more knowledge more understanding more experience with it but perseverance is key listen i'll be real i've seen it where when i was coming in the game a lot of artists were signed and they yeah to a certain degree they were talking to me in a certain way because they felt like they were bigger than me because they were signed yeah now a lot of <laughs> artists <clears throat> that have dropped the same artists have been dropped mm. and they still see me going they the conversation is different now and yeah. I, it, I have a little smirk because i'm like okay so i've learned something always to humble yourself and always to know that this is a process and the fact of the matter is mm. even if you sign with a deal it doesn't mean to say that you are fully controlled your own destiny yeah. be controlling your destiny and always persevere because you don't know what is around the corner and you don't know what doors are opening for you like it was i would have never thought i would be in this establish today talking to honestly, a great artist like honestly, yourself and like, i just had a like master chilling, class today you know I mean? right? yeah and and chilling out so yeah. it's always telling me that god's showing that every step every day that i do something it's going to mm. open the door to something else you know what i mean so that's yeah, all that. i can um give and in terms of that, top man. five artists that i'll say to look at at the moment if you want to talk about artistry yeah i'll say little sims okay Sampha, yeah um, a guy called Old Bong Jaya, um, okay. he's collaborated with Little Sims and the point a tune called Point and Kill. Um, in terms of sound, mm -hmm. I watched him live and I wasn't impressed with him live. But in sound wise, it's um, PA, it's, it's either called PSLU or Pasalu, yeah, Pasalu, and Charles. Yeah, my guy. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I love that at the end. Yeah, bro, hundred <laughs> percent. And so yourself. So yeah. I'm saying Chos, isn't it? Like, yeah. Seven and Chos. Now it's I got I just to be fair, I, I just wanna like close in on my side. Yeah. Um first and foremost, you always gotta remember God is good. He's always got you, but just remember you're never bigger than the music. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, you're never bigger than the music and perseverance. Perseverance. Yeah. And yeah. where can the people find you? Um Chos official on all platforms. C H O Z E in capitals, but um, all platforms chose official. Yeah. Uh, um, um, all socials. It's I am Shay Seven. That's I am S H A I S E V I N. Done already. And remember, DIY album is out now. I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you for tuning in, Thank guys. You, Thank it's you, been man. Trey Banks. It's Until been, next man. time. Until next time, man. Bless up. Part two. Part two. Yeah, standard procedures. Standard procedures. Until next time. Bless up. Bless. See you Peace. later.